Now, the Syrian ambassador to Iraq has defected to what he called the ranks of the revolution of the Syrian people. He's the first senior Syrian diplomat to abandon the government of President Bashar al-Assad. Well, let's head to Beirut and speak to our Middle East correspondent, Jim Muir. And, Jim, tell us more about this defection, first of all. Well, he's quite a significant figure, an ambassador um, who was appointed as the first ambassador in 30 years to Iraq. Uh, he went there in 2008. And um, as I say, under Saddam Hussein, relations between the two countries were very poor. Um, he was sent to Iraq at a very sensitive time uh, after regime change and so on. Um, so a significant figure. He had a, a big background in the Ba'ath Party, the ruling Ba'ath Party. He had been a provincial governor in several parts of Syria. Um, but he's also, beg your pardon, he's also from... Uh, one of the Sunni tribes, uh, which is just uh, on the east side of, of Syria and adjacent, in fact, overlapping the border uh, with Iraq itself. Um, now, the Sunnis, of course, are, are the main community. They're, they're the majority community. And uh, they are uh, basically very much caught up uh, in the uprising. And his area had been very heavily shelled in, in recent days. So that may have been, uh, I would speculate, what uh, pushed him over the edge. Now, Jim, we've also been reporting that uh, activists claiming that mortars have been fired on the outskirts of Damascus for the first time. What's your analysis of that? Well, um, I wouldn't read a huge amount into it. This is a, actually an almost rural area on the southwest approaches uh, to the capital. Um, uh, it's, it's a set of orchards and so on where activists or, or rebel fighters have been um, busy using. Um, so it has come under mortar fire apparently from the Meze uh, military airport, which also is within the city limits, as indeed is Kvasusa, the area we're talking about. But uh, quite a number of areas around that military airport have apparently been mortared, uh, not very heavily. And I haven't seen reports from activists of any actual casualties from that mortaring. But um, the fact is, in, in recent weeks and months, the, the fighting has really taken root in a lot of the suburbs around Damascus, especially to the northeast, uh, south, southwest, etc. Um, and the government has tried repeatedly to root the uh, fighters, rebel fighters, out of those areas. Uh, but without success, they just keep coming back. It seems that the government is now trying once again to repel uh, the uh, rebel fighters from, from moving ever closer to uh, the center of the city, which is only just a, a few kilometers, a few miles away uh, from the areas we're talking about. Jim Muir, thanks very much. Thank you. Just to bring you some breaking news concerning Olympic tickets, uh, not anything to do with Olympic security that we have been focusing on here today, of course.